everybody. Um, welcome. This is our setup video for how to complete the wind turbine project. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is grab a tower and this is the, the part that we're going to attach to. Um, and the first thing I want to check is to make sure that the hub that contains my wind turbine blades is seated correctly. Um, this is a hub. This one happens to have a piece of duct tape. It's up to you whether you want to leave it on there or take it off. Um, there's advantages and disadvantages to both. Uh, what we see is that inside this hub there are some little grooves and those grooves match the notches that we see here. And so what's supposed to happen is those will line up and I have to make sure that I push it very securely into um, that green piece. Why you might see some tape on there is because um, if your blades are out of balance at all, one has a little more tape, one's angle isn't quite the same, something's not quite constructed evenly, um, your blades will wobble and if that happens this can work its way out and all of a sudden um, your whole blade assembly will go flying. Um, so that little bit of tape was because someone had a wobbly blade um, or an uneven build and uh, um, they needed that extra assistance. Um, a small piece of tape will do it if you don't want it on there. Sometimes it makes it harder to get this even in there, but it will hold it nice and tightly if you do. So um, the main thing is you want that hub to be right up against that uh, green piece there. The next thing I'm going to check is that my gears are engaged. This uh, little piece right here is not going to engage that this gear. This is the one that's important to make spin is this uh, turb that uh, turbine gear. And so what I want to make sure is that I slide those together um, and so that that piece will fit. You'll notice this axle has a little bit of tape right here. That's to keep, um, you'll be generating, some of you will be generating quite a bit of power and it'll try to push that axle through. And if you'll notice back here, that's starting to come disengaged. And so that piece of tape is to help um, prevent that from happening. So once I figure out how far back it wants to go, I can leave it that far and now I've got a good, um, I've got a good uh, engagement with that turbine gear. Um, the faster you get this one to go, the more electricity you're going to produce. So this is a small gear. It's easier to get to turn, but it doesn't generate as much electricity. The other thing I am testing here is to see how sticky that is. I don't want it to grind those gears, but I want those gears to be nice and engaged. This one feels a little tight to me, so I'm just going to loosen these bottom, um, these bottom bolts a bit and maybe tighten these up a smidge and then give it another test. If things are out of whack, if um, one bolt's tighter than another, one wing nut's tighter than another, um, stuff will feel kind of crunchy. It won't want to spin nice. Um, so you just kind of got to mess with uh, your nuts and bolts to get it to, uh, to feel smooth. And most of the time it's finding, making sure everything's even and you'll feel that that blade that is going to spin nice and um, evenly. Um, once I have all that put together and make sure that all my gears are engaged, now I'm also going to double check to make sure my blades at this end aren't going to hit the tower. Um, so depending on how much bend you have in your blades, we want to make sure that this part of the axle is out far enough that my blades aren't going to hit 